What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive freight domination gameplay. I'm not sure which one yet. It might actually be two gameplays combined. Basically, if it's five minutes, it's from one game. If it's ten minutes, I'm going to be including a side from two different games, but they're both going to be freight dom. So, yeah, that's how that's going to work. So, getting right into it, today's topic is going to be about how to stay motivated in competitive gaming. So... I know that a lot of people, including myself and my own team sometimes, we lose our motivation and we're like, oh man, maybe we should just quit, you know, go off, do something real, go get a real job, go study more in school and stuff, which of course is important to do, but when you want to do gaming, I don't know, some a lot of people don't think it's a real job and everything, and uh, you know, if you're losing and stuff, you start to lose confidence in yourself, so these tips are just going to help you to stay motivated in the competitive gaming world. So first of all, you have to make goals for yourself and for your team, and the reason for this is so that you can keep track of what you're doing, and you can, I don't know, I guess feel better about yourself, you know, like set a goal, let's say, for example, um, you want to, you're just starting out and you want to win an online tournament by the end of that year, so then, you know, keep track of how you're doing in tournaments as you go along and see your progression and how you're getting better and then you know when you reach the goal celebrate your success now of course don't be cocky or arrogant about it but you know you can kind of you know talk about it with your friends and be like yeah you know I, I won that tournament it feels really great and everything or whatever however you want to talk about it but um you know just kind of celebrate it a little maybe you know if it's your first tournament win I don't know go out with some friends <laughs> or something and uh, you know just go have a fun time um, also make new goals if your old ones have been reached so for example on my youtube channel here I originally set a goal for 1000 subscribers by the end of the year I blew that out of the water um, not the end of the 2013 year because I barely started I was thinking one year from when I started um, and so I reset my goal now to 5000 subscribers by the end of my first year which we're well on our way to doing and yeah just you know you gotta keep setting new goals so that you can continue to strive for something if you have nothing to strive for you won't have any motivation next uh, take breaks every now and then I know that in the gaming world a lot of people are like you need to play every single day and you know you'll see a lot of the pro teams they'll be like five to eight hours a day every day of the week so it turns into like a seven day job kind of thing and at least every now and then it doesn't have to be every week but every now and then take a break take a day or two off or maybe even a week off I know um, a lot of you watch optic probably and you've seen scumpy before take a week or two off you know to go visit family or whatever and that's perfectly fine you know just every now and then you gotta take breaks from this game because it can just get so frustrating and so tedious and it'll help you reset and have a fresh mind when you come back to it Next, look for inspira inspiration from others. So, a good example of this would be Nade Shot. You know, he, well, a lot, okay, maybe some adults would say this isn't a good example because he took a risk. But, um, you know, Nade Shot, you know, dropped out of school and was working at McDonald's and playing video games. And that was his thing. And then eventually he quit McDonald's so that he could just focus all on gaming. And, you know, that was a huge risk for him, but it paid off, and he was, you know, willing to work for it, and he still has that drive today. He still really wants to win. He wants to do better. And so just people like that or, you know, stories like that can really motivate you to, I guess, keep up your motivation and strive for greatness. Uh, next, you know, music. Uh, for me personally, this helps me stay motivated. I don't know, just every now and then listening to music, maybe in between matches or whatever, just plugging in some headphones into my computer and listening to some music real quick. Um, I'm, that may not be everybody's thing, but it helps me personally. Next, uh, get hyped and ride the hype. I know this is hard in an online setting because there's not a whole lot to get hyped about. I mean, eventually even online tournaments, it's like, oh, yay, online tournament. Ooh. But I mean, you, you need to try and get hyped because it makes it a lot more fun and a lot more rewarding when you do good and so you want to keep doing it next if you're having one of those days and I know you know what I'm talk I know you know what I'm talking about that was confusing but whatever 
it probably wasn't I don't know okay whatever but anyway if you're having one of those days calm down and focus you just gotta work your way through it and count it as an accomplishment if by the end of that session of practice you're performing how you normally would like an average day if you can do that when you're just having one of those days that's great count it as an accomplishment feel happy next um, change the way you look at failure I know that a lot of people get really really upset when they lose um, you, you just can't do that you've got to take a step back and be like okay I can learn from this and then use it as motivation to become as good as them be like okay they were doing all this they had really great teamwork and everything let's try and do that and then you know that'll give you motivation to strive for it next use friendly rivalries to motivate you so um, it, with, with our team we've got a few old teammates that have teams and we like to scrim them every now and then and you know as long as you do this in a friendly way you know you're of course you're not taking this as like oh I'm better than you or anything well you kind of are but I mean just you know striving to be as good or better than your old teammates or your old friends things like that it it can really help motivate you because when you see them doing good you want to do just as good next learn how to take criticism so I know that um, in today's day and age sometimes taking criticism can be very very difficult for some people they w don't want to do it they're used to getting everything their way and they're always right and everything um, you gotta learn to be able to take constructive criticism now of course sometimes people will criticize you in a mean way um, you know it just ignore it uh, just move on from it of course if it's somebody that you're always playing with or something and they're always doing it you got to address the issue issue and get it to stop because you know that can be very detrimental but I mean constructive criticism you know you just got to take it and um, honestly you, you've got nothing to feel bad about when they give you constructive criticism you should feel good because now you have something to work on to improve and that should also help motivate you next strive to prove the haters wrong so uh, for example, Alex, he has a lot of people call him washed and all sorts of things like that. And he lets that motivate him to do better. He wants to prove them wrong. He wants to prove that he's still got it and that he's getting better. So that's just an example of somebody who's doing it. But I mean, you know, you just got to prove the haters wrong. Next do different stuff during your practice um, don't always do the same thing like um, I know a lot of teams including my team we used to do this we would just do S and D GB's for all of our practice time every day for like months at a time and then maybe a scrim every now and then don't do that you know vary it up do scrims some days do GB's other days and then do tournaments other days so that you have somewhat of a variety I know in competitive Call of Duty it's not much variation but at least it's something and hey maybe even just take a day and go play some extinction or something now of course if you got a major event coming up don't do that but you know if you just vary it up every now and then so that it's still kind of fresh and fun next um like like I was kind of saying make it fun it's if it's not then you won't be motivated I mean just think about school for example I know a lot of people don't like doing school um, and the reason for that is because it's not fun for them same with chores you know you don't want to do it you don't feel motivated to do it at all so you've just got to make it fun for yourself you could do this by you know getting some jokes for teammates and everything you know just kinda joking around sometimes you'll see some pros just kinda messing around they'll post videos up of them roasting each other but they're doing it in a friendly way and everything uh, that's one way to make it fun also varying up what you do maybe an extinction game or something one day just stuff like that or even getting together as a team and playing a completely different game for a day maybe you know just you, you have to make it fun it has to be interesting because if you are just focusing on improving constantly which you should be to a certain level but if you're just focusing all the time for that five to eight hours a day that you're practicing and, and you're only scrimming and stuff like that it's not gonna be fun at all so yeah those are my tips for staying motivated guys I hoped it's helped somewhat so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe 
If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.